Hello everyone. Today I have a haul from Kay to share with you. This is the fall sampler that they just released the other day. These are all like customer created fall inspired scents. Um, oh shoot, I forgot to get, I wanted to write down the names of everyone who created these blends. Um, I'll just go in, I'll put them on the screen as I talk about them. Um, who actually created the blend. I know she listed it at one point on the site. So on the Facebook group, I mean, oh, it already smells good. <laughs> um, oh, it's wrapped like a couple times here. Let me pull this out. Figured I would just pop it open with you guys and just kind of pull them out randomly. I'm super excited for this. Um, she did like a spring summer sampler earlier in the year, obviously. That was really good. I liked like everything in it. Um, and then everything in this one sounded good too. And I think actually two of my blends are in here, which is so exciting. So I just, I had to pick it up. Um, okay. The first thing I see is a little piece of chocolate. So I will eat that. Typically in the vendor wax orders, we get like fruity candy or like gummy candies or sour candies. I'm more of a chocolate fan. <laughs> so I don't know, it has pumpkins on it. I wonder if it's a pumpkin flavor. I'm spending too much time on the candy. Um, here is their business card where you can find them, all their information. And then they do put an invoice in here. And I don't think um, there's any samples in here because they give you a really good deal when you order these samplers. They end up, the clamshells end up being super cheap. I forget um, when it actually comes out to, but I've, I did figure it out, but now I forget. Um, so there's one, two, 10. There's 10 cents in here. So let's just get into them. I guess I'll talk about mine first since I've smelled those before. Um, the first one that is my custom is Overlook Hotel. And this is Jack Frost Winter Linen and Palo Santo. So it smells so good. I've melted it plenty of times because I had a K-Cuts bag of it. Um, I think I might have finished it. I'm not sure, but uh, it smells so good. It's mostly the Jack Frost and Winter Linen, but you get that Apollo in here. Oh man, it's like nose clear clearing. So the Jack Frost has peppermint in it. I don't remember what else it is, but oh, I just love this. Um, what was, oh, so when I made this, it's Overlook Hotel, so it's inspired by The Shining. So I did Jack Frost because it's his name is Jack Torrance in the movie, and then Winter Linen because they're in a hotel, and then Palo Santo because the hotel need some cleansing <laughs> um, but yeah that smells really good it's like this peppermint linen oh it's so good i love that so i'm happy to have more of it and then the other one that was my custom um she did change it a little bit because i think the one oil she either doesn't have anymore or she liked it better with this oil i forget but it's fall farmhouse and it's fallen leaves, crackling fire, and then I did home sweet home when I did the custom, and I think she used cinnamon broom, I wanna say, in here. Um, it says cinnamon, I think she used cinnamon broom. Yeah, this is really nice. It's just like warm. Oh man, this smells so good. I actually never melted any of this custom because I actually um, made it for my mom 
to go with her Haunted Mansion warmer for Christmas last year. But this is really good. I can't wait to melt this. You definitely get that crackling fire. Oh, I really like this. Man, that's good. <laughs> Fallen Leaves is probably one of my favorite like oils. Um, it's not like leaves from Bath and Body Works. It's more earthy. Even almost there's like a fruitiness to it almost. Ugh, I don't know. It's just so good and this smells amazing. I cannot wait to melt that. Okay. Then on to the ones that I've never smelled before. These are other customer creations. I'm just going to grab them in the order I have them here. The first one is Mold Wine. That sounds amazing just based on the name. Um, so the scent notes are Blackberry, Bordeaux, Orange, Cranberry, Nutmeg, and Spice. That sounds so good. Oh, that's good. Um, definitely getting the Blackberry, Bordeaux, and Orange, Cranberry right on top. And more of the nutmeg and spice on the bottom. This is lovely. Oh, it's like that deep, dark blackberry. I feel like the cranberry and orange are both like brightening it a lot. So it's not too dark if you're not like into the super dark fruity scents. I feel like this one is definitely brightened by the orange and the cranberry but it's still dark enough for me. <laughs> oh, and I love that nutmeg and spice in there. And then it's just like the perfect color for the name. Oh, that's good. Oh man, that is good. That's good for fall, but that will be good for um, like the holiday time too. Okay, the next one is Autumn Crunch. Was this one? I feel like this one might have been um, Catherine King's blend, I want to say. I could be wrong, but this is apple caramel, zucchini bread, and pumpkin peanut brittle. I love pumpkin peanut brittle, and I love Kay's pumpkin peanut brittle. It's my favorite. Oh, yeah, and this is good. Ooh, I really like that. I like the apple caramel with the pumpkin peanut brittle, which I wouldn't have thought to do um, on my own. That's actually really nice. Mm, that's good. I like that. I'll probably save that um, for a day when I'm burning the pumpkin peanut brittle candle. That's so good. She has her pumpkin peanut brittle to me smells the most like the Bath and Body Works candle. So it has that like roasty nuttiness to it. I'm mostly getting the pumpkin peanut brittle and the apple caramel, but I can tell there's zucchini bread in here too. Mm, I like a good like savory kind of bakery scent. Like salty. That's good. That's like a warm, cozy, salty bakery. I love that. Okay, the next one, ooh, this sounds good. <laughs> Blue Christmas. Honestly, every one in here sounded amazing, so that's why I had to get this. Um, Balsam Cedar, which I love, Blue Sugar, which I love, and Palo Santo, which I love. Oh, I can't get this one open, okay. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, this one's a little bit lighter. It could just be because I have pumpkin peanut brittle up my nose now. Ooh, I really like this. Oh yeah, and it's obviously blue. Oh man. Balsam cedar, blue sugar, palo santo. First thing is the balsam cedar. I love that. And then the blue sugar but I can tell there's Paulo in here too. This is perfect. Ooh, this one I'll most likely save for closer to like Christmas time because I'm trying not to order 
wax right now um, or like a ton of wax right now so I'm trying to kind of save any kind of wintry scents that I have because I can melt like tree scents pretty much all year. Wow that's really good with the blue sugar I really like that. Sorry I spent a while just sitting there smelling it but that's really good. Um, if any of these are your blends just comment below and let me know. Um, these are also good. Okay, the next one sounds amazing too. This is Witch's Wart. And it is pumpkin pecan waffles, candy corn, and coffee. I was just thinking the other day that I don't have enough pumpkin pecan waffles blends. I just tend not to order them even though I like them for some reason. Um, so I'm happy to have this. Let's see. Oh, that's good. I wonder what coffee oil that is. I like it. It might be, I don't know. Man, this smells like walking into Starbucks. It really does. It really smells like going into a Starbucks in the fall time when they have like the pumpkin spice lattes and everything. That's what this smells like. That's good. I'm sure I'm gonna like this one more on warm. I have this thing with coffee. I don't buy a ton of coffee scents um, because I don't reach for them super often, but I do like the scent of coffee. But I have this thing with coffee wax where on cold, it always smells a little off-putting to me, but then on warm, I typically like it. So this smells good, but I feel like I'm gonna like it even more on warm. What is this reminding me of though? It's really like, I feel like it's walking into Starbucks, but then I'm getting a different feel from it. It's re like a specific memory. Oh man. I don't know, it smells really good, but it's like really transporting me somewhere and I can't, <laughs> I can't get there in my head. I don't know, I might think of it. It might be like the hospital <laughs> a lot of the time. Um, coffee scents remind me of the hospital because most of the hospitals that I've been in have either like a Starbucks stand or a Starbucks like in them, so. That might be what it is. I don't know. I don't know. It's taken me somewhere. It'll come to me, hopefully. <laughs> um, the next one here is Pumpkin Loves Coconut. And this is Coconut Cream Pie Pumpkin Cupcakes in Cider Lane. Again, sounds amazing. You can see why they picked these scents for <laughs> their sampler because they're all so good. Ugh. Coconut cream pie. Something that's like Cider Lane. Okay, more Cider Lane on the bottom. Pumpkin cupcakes I can get. I feel like I'm getting more of the coconut cream pie on the top. Mm. This smells really good. I love Carla's wax. It's just like perfect. It's like not making my hands messy. I can just hold it. It's not melting. But it's also not like so extremely hard. I don't know. I just love their wax. Um, and it's this pretty pumpkin orange color. Mm. Yeah, that smells good. Definitely Cider Lane and Pumpkin Cupcakes for sure. And a little bit of that coconut cream pie. Okay, the next one is Toasted Monkey Pie, right? Toasted Monkey Pie, yeah. Monkey Bread Toasted Mallow Coconut Cream Pie. Ah, I'm losing some wax, that's okay. Oh no, not all of it. Oh no. I smushed it and I got cat hair all over it. Ugh. All right. Well, I smushed it. <laughs> This one is a little bit lighter to my nose, too. But I definitely... Ugh. 
this kind of smells like this kind of smells like the bakery at a grocery store like right after they put donuts out like warm donuts and then they're like making cakes in the back like icing and warm donuts it's kind of, it's kind of what this smells like to me yeah that's what it, it really to me it smells like walking through the bakery section at the grocery store like while they're making things that smells good I like that it might be a little sweet for me um, but I don't think so like if I melt it at the right time it smells really good okay the next one is all spruced up and this is sugared spruce cranberry and sugar cookie again that sounds lovely Mmm, that's nice. So this is like a brighter, um, ooh, it's like a really bright kind of tree scent. I like the sugar cookie added in there. Yeah, this smells good. It's definitely like a bright cranberry. What else? Sugared spruce. Yeah, definitely sugared spruce a bright cranberry and then just like a little bit of sugar cookie is kind of bringing those two together that's nice it's a really pretty color too I really like that color like a I don't know it's almost like a minty green kind of mm, that smells good yeah I like that and then the last one is gobbling it up so like goblin, <laughs> like a goblin, not gobbling, but like a goblin. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is caramelized pralines, pumpkin souffle, and cornbread. This sounds bomb. I like that pumpkin souffle oil. Let's see. Oh, that is so good. Oh man, I really like this one. Oh, it's like so warm. That pumpkin souffle. It has a little bit of spice to it, but it's so good. Ooh, I really like this one. Yeah, and there's like a nuttiness from the pralines. I love that. At least that's what I get, like a buttery, yeah, like a buttery nuttiness from praline scents. Mm, this is good. I like it with the cornbread. I don't have a ton of cornbread um, scents either, but I usually like them. Oh, I really like this one. Okay. These are all really good. Ugh, okay. So, goblin it up, and it's, I don't know if I showed you, but it's that green color, um, which is so cute. Okay. Um, which one would I say is my favorite and I'm not gonna include mine because that's not fair <laughs> um, ooh, I don't know um, I'm gonna say blue Christmas is probably my favorite from this sampler on cold obviously that can change on warm um, why can't I get this one open yeah I love this this is just so fresh Ugh, yeah, that's good. That's probably my favorite on cold. Um, if I can include mine in my favorites, I would say Fall Farmhouse is so good because it has that like that embery crackling fire note. Yeah, I love this. Mm, that's good. Fall Farmhouse. So Blue Christmas and Fall Farmhouse are my two favorites from this sampler um, but I also really like Autumn Crunch which is for mold wine I like them all I, I really like them all 
two favorites, Blue Christmas and Fall Farmhouse, but they're all so good. Let me know if you picked up this sampler and which scent is your favorite. Um, I can't wait to get into some of these. I might have to melt. I don't know. I should let them sit for a little bit. Honestly, some things that I get from K, I can melt right away and they're so strong. And then some things just need a little bit more time to sit. Um, sorry, my ear keeps ringing. I should let them sit a little bit, but I really want to get into them also. <laughs> like, I really want to melt this Goblin It Up scent because I just feel like it's perfect for, like, what I'm seeing out my window today, but yeah, anyway, these are all really good. Everybody did a great job with their customs. I love that they do these customer-inspired samplers. It's just, I don't know. I just really appreciate that they do that. Um, like I said, let me know if you picked it up and which scent was your favorite. If you didn't pick it up, which scent sounds like it would be your favorite. Um, yeah, I'm super excited glad I picked it up. Okay, I'm gonna go eat that chocolate now. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing. It means so much to me. I appreciate it so much, more than I can tell you. Um, I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.